السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ربی شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربنا زدنا علما اللہم فقیحنا فی الدین اللہم انی اسألوک علما نافیا و رزقا طیبا و عملا متقبلا آمین یا رب العالمین سو ہیر وی آر ویدہ سیشن نمبر ون ہنڈرڈ این سیون الحمدللہ این لیٹس سٹارٹ ویدہ کوئک ریویو of what we have covered so far. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So the first question for your review today is, what are the Dhamma families in As-Salasi al-Mazid fihi? Barakallahu feek. So, Baabe Taf'il, Baabe Mufa'ala, and Baabe Ifa'al. Right? Two, three, four. Barakallahu feek. Two, three, four. Baabe Taf'il, Baabe Mufa'ala, and Baabe Ifa'al, right? Alhamdulillah. So now, the next question is, what are the Fataha families that we have learned so far? Family number five and six. Because, why are they called Fataha families? All Fatahs in Mudare, all Fatahs in Amr, or all Fatahs in Madin, what is the main Siga that we look at when we are calling them Fataha families. All Fathas in Pelul Mudari. Right? Dhamma families are called Dhamma families because of Dhamma on the last root letter or Dhamma on Alamatul Mudari. Dhamma on the sign of Mudari, right? We call them Dhamma families because they have Dhamma on the sign of Mudari. Dhamma families have Dhamma on the sign of Mudari because what's the reason? What do you look for for a family to have Dhamma on Alamat al Mudari? What is the condition? Four letters in the past tense, four lettered Madin. Felun Madin, that is four letter, qualifies a family for a Dhamma on Alamatul Mudare. And it does not have to be two, three, four. I will teach you if we get a chance. Um, Waswasa, you was visu. That is Rubai. That is not family two, three, four. That is Rubai Mujarad. That is Mujarad. Has no extra letter, but still has a Dhamma on Alamatul Mudare because Waswasa is a Four-lettered Madin, right? Now, what are the Shadda families we have covered so far? Family number two, Allama, Babe Taf'il. Babe Taf'il is one of the Shadda families. And Bab Tafa'ulan is also, also a family, Bab Tafa'ulan is also a bab with a shadda. Taf'il and Tafa'ulan is our two families with the shadda, which is in modern um, um, day language, we call them family number two and family number five. Everyone with me so far? What are the ta families that we have covered just recently? Ta families that we have covered together recently. There may be more, but we I'm talking about that we have covered here in the class. Five and six. Five and six. And tafa'ulan and tafa'ulan, right? Tafa'ulan, tafa'ulan. Ta'alluman and ta'abunan. Tafarrukan. That those two families, right? That we have recently covered. And these two ta families, these two ta families are families that, that have ta after their first root letter or before their first root letter? Before the first root letter. Ta'allama ya ta'allamu. Ta'awana ya ta'awanu. Clear, my dear sisters? Two ta families. They, these two ta families are also your fataha families. And the ta, letter ta, that is a part of the family, it's a part of the container, is before the first root letter. Do you always see this ta or it can get dropped sometimes? 
because that was a special feature that I taught you can be dropped, right? It can be dropped and dropped. And according to a famous scholar, Alfia Ibn Malik, when two letters, you know, two, two thoughts are together, you can draw one ta. However, the Mufassirun get a lot more detail when, you know, they say that there is a lot of implication, you know, the when the word is less, the word is less, it is less in the, the action is less in some way. Either the frequency of action is less or either the frequency of action is less or the effort that is, you know, with which action is done is less, okay? Yes, it is a mistake, my dear sister. Family number two is not your ta family. You have family number five and family number six as your ta family. Yes, family number two has ta on the master. Yes, that can be the reason that may, you may have gotten confused um, because you know, taf'inan and taf'aulan, ta'alluman, right? The masadir, masdar of Family number two, five, and six all begin with ta. All begin with ta. Letter ta. Now comes a discussion about our Ali families. What, what are your Ali families that you have gone over with me? Family number three that we have covered, jahada yu jahidu, right? And then you learned ta'awana ya ta'awanu just in your last class, if you remember, right? Those are your Ali families. Family number four, can family number four be Alif family? Or what, what name should be given? Um, uh, what name should be given to family number four? It is your Hamzatul Qata family. Okay. So family number four is unique, right? Among all different families, ham, family number four, if I ask you, what is your Hamzatul Qata family? Because now you are going to learn a lot of Hamzas. So Hamzatul Qata family is your family number four. Family number four has, has Hamza. It does not have Alif. Remember, your word will never begin with Alif. And this Hamzatul Qata, is it after the first root letter or before the first root letter? It is before the first root letter. Barakalofi. Now I'm going to tell you briefly. I, we, I don't want you to go over the details of what, what each and every letter is there for. I am going to just briefly go over the use of Alif since we covered the Avana Yata Avanu in our last session. I will see how this Alif can be used for Musharika, which means partnership. Have you ever learned this word Kataba? Kataba is a word which means he wrote. What's the meaning of Kataba? He wrote. He wrote. When it comes to word kataba, it means it means he wrote to someone. Make sense or no sense? Right? So where is this kataba coming from? Which family? Family number three. I live after the first root letter. Family number three. Alif family, right? You think about your Alif family when you see an added Alif anywhere. Okay, you think about what is additional in my Felul Mudari, what is additional in my Felul Mudari, and then you go and find your family, meet that family. You are visiting family number three when you are seeing Alif after the first root letter. So, Kataba, he wrote, and it can be he wrote in his diary, he wrote in his um. Um, in his book, he, he but it did not did it involve other than his book or he uh, anyone any other person. But when you say kataba, it implies he wrote to someone. Is there anyone else involved? Are the two parties involved? Similarly, similarly, when you say katala, katala, give me the meaning of katala. He killed. Now, give me the meaning of Qatala. And you have seen Qatala several times. Qatalu. So, he killed someone. He Or he tried to kill someone, right? He kills. There is a, when you have an added alif, he is fighting. He is, you know, in this 
two people are involved. If he is trying to kill, the other person is also involved there. Does it make sense or no sense? The action is occurring between two parties. You cannot, the fight occurs between two parties. Yes or no? It's no, it involves two people. When you kill someone, it could be that, you know, you stab someone with a knife. May Allah, you know, I'm just giving you an example, just trying to teach you here. Don't kill anyone, my dear sisters. It's not good. Um, you know, when you kill one some, it's like you killed everyone. Um, so please, yeah, try not to. Uh, but, you know, sometimes... <laughs> It happens. <laughs> so, but no, I'm not that cruel. But just, you know. So now, let's come back. Khada'a means, and you have learned this word in Surah Al-Baqarah in the Filul Mudare form. He deceived. He deceived. Hmm? He deceived. Hmm? But when it comes to when it comes to khada'a, what does it mean? He tried to deceive. He tried to deceive someone. This um someone, okay? He tried to deceive someone, okay? So now when you have an alif, can you see that the action is occurring on somebody else and there's another party involved? Yes or no? So just briefly, when you look at these words, it may not always imply that, but it, you know, it, there is, all, you know, the, the most, most common connotation of an alif is that there is an involvement of another party. When you say jahada, the word jahada that we have used in our, you know, in our class to learn family number three, what do you think? Do you do jihad by your, on your own or it is against something? What do you think, my dear sisters? Right? It is usually against something or someone, against your nafs, right? Most importantly, your nafs against shaitan right jahidu fi sabilillah and you all struggle in the way of allah is it easy you have to fight your nafs at that time you struggle against your nafs when you you know for example waking up for fajr sometimes is jihad for some people it's a struggle for some people and they at the time of fajr are fighting their shaitan their nafs they want to sleep more they want to you know they they, they, they you every time and think of this word jahada. It is again most importantly against your nerves. You are fighting, you are struggling against your nerves to get to something, to somewhere. Is it clear, my dear sisters? Also, yukhadiuna or jahada means sometimes can have an implication of try to do something. For example, if I take you to word qatala again. So what does word qatala mean? If I take you to word qatala, which is he fought. So in fighting, what do you want to do when people fight in jihad or, you know, in any battle? What are they trying to do? They're trying, they're trying to kill someone. He tried to kill or he fought. Same connotation, right? When you are fighting in a battle, you're trying, you know, Qatala is not a word where it's not used for a fight between a brother and a sister. And, you know, yes, uh, some brothers and sisters can be, you know, a little more aggressive, but it is usually a word that is going to be used for fighting in a battle, okay? So in battle, what do you, what do you, what are people trying to do? They're trying to kill, right? They're, when they're fighting, they're trying to kill the other person or other party. Hmm? Yes or no? So, you are trying to kill someone. In when you look at the word qatala, you just killed. And you are the person who is the main doer. Okay? So, but in qatala, in jahada, in qada'a, all these words, qataba, when I added an alif, the action was 
involving another party as well. There's a partnership. Barakallahu feek, dear sister Faiza. So, Sa'ala, when I asked you this word, Sa'ala, what do you think is the meaning of Sa'ala? Let me just put it there. He asked, right? Usne sawal kiya. And when I, you know, ask you this word, the sa'ala, what do you think? He asked someone, when you, when you go and look at this surah, which is surah Naba, very beautiful surah of Quran, Amma yatasa alun. So where what are you, what are you seeing here? Amma yatasa aluna. So how do you translate this word? Yatasa aluna. About what they ask each other, right? About what? About Amma is about what? They ask each other. Yes or no? Is it is it a correct way to say yes, right? That you know they ask each other. And where did I bring this word each other from? Can somebody tell me? From Sa'ala, if it was yes aluna, if it was yes aluna, they ask. If it was yes aluna, they ask. But when I added ta and alif, when I added, when I put this word in the container called family number six, yatasa alun. Now I, now I have the connotation. No, 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 not wow. Ta and hamza. Ta and alif. Only ta and alif. Ta before the first root letter. Alif after the first root letter. Family number six. Don't worry about this one. This part. Okay. So yatasa aluna. Here, you are going to get the meaning each other. You know, there is some, he's not just asking, he's asking some other party. They, the, the party of, you know, they are asking one another. Okay. Is it clear, my dear sisters, that adding ta and alif, it's basically alif, alif has added musharika between the two parties. I hope it's making some sense. Similarly, when you see ta'avana, when you see ta'awana, the family that we did last week, we tried to use root letters, ayn, waw, noon, right? Ta'awana, he cooperated, he, he, you know, or he cooperated with someone, right? It's not just one own self, right? It is going to, ta'awana, ya ta'awanu, is going to involve another party or another person, right? He cooperated with someone, yeah? For example, Again, another example is I'm going to now take you to the verses of Quran and then and make you understand from that. And it's I'm not going to take more than uh, two three minutes. Okay, so here, illa lazina amanu wa amilu salihati tawasau. First, think about the root letters of the word and then give me the answer and the right family for this word. Root letters are wow, sodya, right? Vasiya, from Vasiya, wow, sodya. There was a ta before the first root letter, which was wow, and there was an alif after it, so family number six. Hmm? They enjoin each other, they encourage each other, or they advise each other, right? So, tawasau, what are the meaning you are getting, right? Right? They enjoin each other of truth and then or, or of truth or there is another I, I think truth will fit for now and they enjoin each other of patience. Right? Make sense or no sense? I did not have any pro each other here. Do you see anything, any attached pronoun? But just an alif, just an alif, just an alif, help me identify that this tawasi, this enjoining, 
is occurring between the two parties. And they do it on the equal basis. I enjoin you and you enjoin me back. You say, Sister Saima, you get angry very quickly. You lose your cool very quickly. And I tell you, yes, you you make me lose that because you don't do your homework. And yeah, and you know, I, you should do your homework too, right? Yes or no? Right? So sometimes when this is the, the action is going to occur, action is going to occur on the on the same grounds. Like, you know, I'm doing some and the other person is doing some. So now see here and this is the uh, past tense or present tense form the last so everyone i need answers from everyone yes mainly mainly yes you are going to now recognize this as that you know there are two parties involved right this is failun madin right there is no lamatul mudari here and yes sometimes madin is going to be um, uh, without uh, you know you will see that ta of the family can get can get dropped but this one is not present tense because there is no reason for this to not have noon if it was you know they the uh, the word should end with a noon but do you see any reason why this word should not have a noon is there any harufe nasiba harufe jazima here This ta is not the sign, not the sign, not the sign of mudare. This is a sign of word structure. So, illazina amanu past tense, wa amilu past tense, wa tawaso, except those who they believed and they did righteous deeds and they enjoin each other of truth and they enjoin each other of sabr. Easy? Yes or no? So, everything? From one past tense to another past tense to another past tense to another past tense. And there is no harufe nasiba, no harufe jazima, no jawabut talb. Otherwise, I would have shown you if there was any. Okay. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Suratul Maida, Avanu alal birri. And you all cooperate with each other upon piety. Cooperate with each other upon piety, piety. Like, you know, if I am running a class, somebody should help, right? We should be a source of, you know, help for one another, right? We should facilitate such things for each other, right? So, ta'avanu, what is this? What can be the, uh, the siga for this, my dear sisters? Is this a past tense? It can be past tense. It can be past tense. What else can it be? What else can it be? The avanu, very difficult thing. This is, you know, this family. When it comes to this, you know, you have to just deep dive and you take a deep dive into it because this can be amar too, right? And you all enjoy each other, and you all and not enjoy. You all cooperate with one another on righteousness and taqwa you know in the deeds of righteousness and taqwa so this can very well be failul amr and where is the file for this failul amr my dear sisters who is going to be the file for this failul amr wow is the file and what is the file in act wow antum barakallahu fi my dear sister and see and you all en enjoy or you all cooperate with one another right here Wala ta'avanu, la ta'avanu. Now be very careful again. The same spelling because this is a fatah of a very big problem. Yes. So now because the context is such and do not cooperate, do not cooperate with one another upon its very bad sin and this animosity, right? And Udwan, you know, it's not just animosity, it it is you know just to transgress as well right so la is la nahiya this is felun nahi right this is mudare madzum this is mudare madzum the actual form was la tata'avanu but did i not tell you ta can get dropped ta of family can sometimes get dropped yes or no 
Yes. So originally the word was la tata avanu. So here, when it comes to family number six, family number five, you have to, you know, just go through the context and you have to spend some time on your verses. Then comes falamma taraat. What is this lamma here? Is this an ism or a harf? Taking you back to your um term in this term is uh, it, it was taught in this term too and it, it was term, it, uh, taught in term two as well i think yeah i did teach you in in this term too so it's a zarf it's a zarf because how did sister zora said it's a zarf do you know how did she figure it out that this is an ism and this is not a harf do you know what helped her determine that the verb after or the fail after it, okay. Which form form of the fail after it? When lamma comes before the past tense, felun madin, felun madin, lamma is all going to be ismia zarfia, right? Ismia zarfia, and it's going to be mudaf as well. And the sentence after it's going to be the sentence after it's going to be mudafun ilahi fi mahali jarin, and we have covered it. A few weeks ago, right? Not few weeks ago. It's it's now you know a couple of months ago now. So taraat, taraat. What do you think is a fail? It's the hia form. Barakallahu feek is a past tense because of the tasakun. And now, what is alfitani? What is the role of alfitani? Very well done. So Sufaiza, how how did you determine that this is an outside door? What, what's the sign of outside door? Why? What's the sign of rough? That's what I'm asking. A rough dual, what is the sign? Is it the ta? Is it an alif? What did we learn? Very well done. Very well done. That was the answer I was looking for. The alamatul rough is here. Alif, aliful musanna. Aliful musanna is the alamatul rough here. Is a dualism. Barakalawfiq, my dear sisters, all of you. This alif is the sign of the rough status, ani ending, right? So as a beginner student of uh, Arabic, we learned it as an ani ending, but this ani is basically alif is, is there because noon may sometimes get dropped, right? When it is light. So keep that in mind. So this is uh, two groups, right? Two groups. Palamma taraat. So you are going to see, you know, uh, translate taraat, ra hamza ya is to see. Ra hamza ya is to see but when you have taraat two groups c or two groups see each other should i add each other or not add each other what do you think each other where is this each other coming from alif in the fail or alif in the um ism Alif of Taraat. Huh? Okay, easy. Ta before the first root letter. Just focus. Ta before the first root letter. Alif after the first root letter. Family number six. Family number six. So when the two groups saw each other, he ran away on his heels. The shaitan just ran away. Okay? Everyone with me so far? I'm going to take you to the next one and yes this noon my dear sister here alfitani you are going to call this noon it is noon avid anitanween so when you see your no 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 noonul arab you have learned it in case of your afal right noonul arab or noonul rafa right but noon with kasra is avid anitanween right your word um uh, what is this word uh, uh, fiatani so fiatun fiatun was the original uh, or singular form fiat fiatun so from the tun of the tanween you are getting this noon so this is noon avid tanween from the tanween you are getting this noon hmm. avid and tanween and you can go back to uh, anwaun noon right you have we have this um in our um, um in our you know study um material right so now look at this word this is a tricky one what do you think are the root letters let's just determine the root letters first first and then we can you know figure out the word dal raw hamza 
dal, ra, hamza. So what is additional here? What is extra here? Alif is extra. Alif is extra. Alif after dal is extra. Why is dal mushaddad? Dal, good job, Sister Shunim. Good job. So what was there that turned into dal? There was a ta there. It was tadaratum. Tada, tadaratum. But now your ta got changed into dal according to rule of ibdal. Good job. And Sister Faiza actually suggested to me a very beautiful way how I can make you memorize these words. She said that, you know, how about if we tell you that, you know, just make, put cousins together. Okay. So, you know, because it, there are so many letters to remember, right? So, Ta can be cousins with Zaw. Ta can be a cousin of Zaw, everyone. Yes or no? Can they be two cousins? Saad can be cousins with Daud. Seen is a cousin of Sheen, right? Zal and Zai. Can they be cousins? Yes or no? Right? And by just, you know, just forming those connections, you can memorize all those letters, right? So just make sure that, you know, the cousins, when the cousins are there, sin, shin, swa, do, to, zo, and then most of the letters are from the tip of the tongue, from the tip of the tongue and the closed letters from there, from the, some from the middle too. Dal, dal, sa, again from the tip. Ta, again from close to the tip of the tongue. Then comes jim from the middle, sa, sa again from the tip of the tongue. And so, you know, the, the, these ones are not too hard to remember. Yes or no? She also gave me another uh, formula for that. If um, I can ask her to put that in the group, okay? Inshallah. She can uh, do that for you all in the group so that you all remember these letters and you are, you know, this is not something it's too hard for you, inshallah. We'll try to make it super duper easy for all of you, inshallah. Okay? So now, my dear sisters, come back to your board. So this, this, this letter, what are you going to call this letter? That The one that I'm highlighting. Hamzatul Vassal. Hamzatul Vassal. Barakallahu peek, my dear sister. Because now I need this Hamza to pronounce my word. If I have to, if I remove fa from the word, I have to use this Hamza to pronounce this word. Make sense or no sense? Hmm? Right? So it makes complete sense that, you know, I have to have something because now my letter, my, my first letter is not with fatha, which dal is not with fatha, it has to be with sakoon to get merged into the next dal, right? According to the rule of ibdal that we have learned in our last session. Barakallahu feek, my dear sister. So, this is from your family number six. Make sense? And easy? Is it easy? So, this was the story of Musa alayhi salam and his people. This uh, example that you are seeing here, you, this is from the story of Musa alayhi salam and his people. And they, when they, you know, one of them, um, you know, killed someone and they started to, you know, uh, put the blame on, on one person or, or on each other. What is this verse saying? What this verse was about? Mm -hmm. And when you slew a man and disputed over it, and this is a very, you know, over it, but Allah was to bring out what you were concealing. So, but, you know, they started to put a blame on each other, right? Basically, if you, in a simpler sense, I will use the word, they started to blame each other. Oh, this one did it. I did not do it, right? Make sense or no sense? Then comes your word, mukhrijun. Mukhrijun. Is some file from family number four. Then comes your word, Yuzaki, and we have done this word last time too. I really want you to quickly tell me Yuzaki and you Alimu. Yuzaki and you Alimu. Barakallah Fik, it is family number two because of the Shadda, who is sound, and this is Malum. And one thing, 
sister Faiza and sister Zohra, I want, and sister Aisha and more, all of you, all of you, this mudare, I need to know the status. I need to know the status. Raf Nasbajar. It is rough in status. Is it, what is the sign of rough status here? How will you label it? The rough status is just by the presence of Ya. Okay. So, can you see Dhamma here? Yes. I was expecting that this is Mudare mar Marfu with Dhammatul Muqaddara. Make sense, my dear sisters? Right? Now, a very interesting verse from Quran. Yurdina. What do you think? From where this word is coming from? And the mothers should feed their children for two years complete. You know, I have said it like um, Amr, but but you know, remember when I was teaching you um uh, fail mudare and I was teaching you the non-conventional use of failul mudare. Remember? So look here. Can it be Amar with Alamatul Mudare Ya here? Can it be Amar? No, right? It cannot be. So the Siga is in actuality Pelul Mudare. Huh? Pelul Mudare. But how is it being used here? The connotation is of Pelul. You know, it seems like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying must do connotation. So it is sometimes, it is, a, is it a conventional use or is it a non-conventional use of Felul Mudare? Non-conventional, right? How we um, use Felul Madin for Dua. Similarly, we use Felul Mudare for du, for Amr, for command, right? So this is coming from family number four, UE sound, nothing extra. No Shadda, no Alif. So family number four. I want you to try this one. This is a harder one. And I'm not going to take you to the Siga. I just want you to identify the right family. Just the family. I am Because I have not taught you. So I'm not going to take you there yet. So can, so can this be, can this be six? Can this be six with Dhamma on the Alamatul Mudari? Right? So Dhamma is there, so um, it cannot be six, right? It can be, but I, I would not, you know, I would not be, uh, yeah, it can be Majul too, but, you know, but in, even then, um, I will not trick you that much, okay? So just stay, just stay, um, you know, I want an easy answer. I want an easy answer today. Look at your alif. Look at your alif. Okay? So this ta is, can it be alamatul mudari, my dear sisters? This ta. This ta. Can it be alamatul mudari? Yes or no? It is alamatul mudari. Walidatun. Walidatun. Right? Walidatun is an outside something. Right? Right? Walidatun is an outside something. And because I I don't want you to go through Siga yet because this is a little tricky. I want to cover others, uh, you know, easy ones that we have covered. So I will want you to answer Tukallafu. Tukallafu. It is family to Majhul and is it Mudare or Malum? That is a Siga. Mudare. And uh, what's a pronoun? Is it a, is there a um, a naibul file or um, the mir or naibul file outside there somewhere my dear sisters there's a naibul file outside which is nafsun right nafsun huh? now comes pisolen pisolen so we are doing our self practice so in your self practice my dear sisters you have learned a masdar that begins with a kasra. Jihadan. Jihadan. Right? It sounds like jihadan. Fi alan. Right? So it is family number three. Fi salan. Right? Tashawurin. Tashawurin. Very well done. Ta 
before the first root letter alif after the first root letter and this is a masdar and this is a masdar because this is a asratain and this is an ism cannot be some file cannot be some maful cannot be some sar can only be what is known as masdar so now sallam tum family two pass arathum family four past tense because of the hamzatul wasal right arada arada is it family four now tell me who is the doer in arada arada alif is the doer so is it family four or family three one more time family four family four family four hamzatul wasal This alif is coming from the root letter ra, waw, dal were the root letters. Ra, waw, dal were the root letters. Ra, waw, dal were the root letters. Waw got changed into an alif, right? Right. Arada, family number four, and the doer is aliful is nine. Doer is if they two decide on meaning with. Mutual understanding and atharadin with mutual um. Yani ah, uh, this tarada is from rada ra da dwau. So yani ah, uh, they both are happy with their decision. Yeah, agreement and the shavurin is a mutual advice among each other, right? Wow, changed to alif. Yes, wow, changed to alif. Hamza tul Hamza tul Qata was a giveaway. And this ham alif is this alif is the root letter. This alif is aliful is nine for doer. The two parents about the weaning of a child. This is being discussed in Quran here. Make sense? Did I confuse you, Aisha? Where, my dear? On this one. right in the, on this word i'm sorry no no you are right on saying uh, uh, um, that this was an uh, uh, this alif is a doer alif you were absolutely right that this was the doer alif barakallahu feek my dear sister and then you know this i was talking about i think this one that this came from your um root letter because i saw someone with the family three here someone wrote family three so that uh, that may be something that i was you know trying to clarify okay okay so now let's just go and this is enough for a review and now let's learn the family number 7 are we all ready for family number 7 type one if you are alhamdulillah alhamdulillah so family number 7 is called Bag in fi alan. What's the name for this bag? In fi alan. In fi alan. Now, can you wait? Can the question wait? Is it related to what we uh, uh, we are going to cover now, or uh, uh, you can wait till the end, Sister Ranas? Is there something that you can wait, or I can because I can take the question at the end of the session then. Okay, good. So now we are going to learn a family in Fialan, a family that has Hamza tul Wasal. Okay, a family that has Hamza tul Wasal. There are multiple families that are going to be taught to you that have Hamza tul Wasal in the beginning. Multiple families. This family has Hamza tul Wasal that is Ziyada, and also It has a noon, noon that is ziyada. Can you see this master? And who can tell me what is ziyada in this word? In fi alan. What is ziyada? What cannot be the root letter? Al hamza, hamza, because any any straight line that can get fatah damakasra can never be alif. Remember one thing. Remember one thing. 
it's going to be Hamzad. If, if you are talking about this one. Yes, there is another Alif after Ain Kalima. Uh, um, uh, Azra, if you're talking about that one, that is another thing. But mainly, that, that is also the part of the container. It is the part of the container. Fa Ain Lam were the root letters. But, you know, the main thing that is Ziyada you are going to say in this family is Hamzatul Vasal and Noon. Okay? And yes, in the Master, you see Alif added as well. But the, it, this is Asalasi al Mazid bi harfain, and this these harfain are Hamzatul Wasal and Nu. Hamzatul Wasal and Nu. Okay? Yes, you are seeing Hamzatul Wasal, Noon, and Alif as Ziyada in the Master, but when you when it comes to the past tense form of this family, you have Hamzatul Wasal and Noon as a added letters. Everyone with me so far? So what is Ziyada? Ziyada is going to be Hamzatul Wasal and Noon. And these both are going to be before the Fa'ul Kalima. Fa'ul Kalima is first root letter, second root letter or third root letter? First root letter. Barakallahu peak, my dear sisters. Easy thing is, special features of this family, as I uh, we are going to go over them, it is called Hamzatul, one of the Hamzatul Vassal families because of the Hamzatul Vassal it has. It is going to have a Kasra on the Ainul Kalima. The second root letter will have a Kasra. And a very special feature is there is no passive. So no second row. When you are going to go over this, you are going to just learn first row and the last row and the third row. There is no second row. Do you see any Majhul form for this? No. So easy. So that's why I thought that, you know, even we don't have enough time, we should still cover it because there is not much there to cover, right? So, in kalaba, yang kalibu, in kilaban, wa huwa mung kalibun. Fal al amru minhu in kalib, wa nahiu anhu la tang kalib, wa zarfu minhu mung kalabun. Easy. What are you seeing here? In kalaba. The Felun Mudare is not starting with the Ma. Why? One, two, three, four, five are the letters in the Felun Madin. Therefore, cannot start with the Ma. But can, why are you not calling it Fataha family? Why this cannot be Fataha family? No. Look at this. The Kasra on the second. When you say Fatha, you you were focusing on Pelul Mudare, Sigatul Mudare. Okay? When you were calling those families Fataha families, you were mainly focusing on, on the Pelul Mudare. Again, you are not going to call this Fataha family because your Pelul Mudare has a Kasra on the Ain Kalima. Because of the Kasra on the Ain Kalima, this is not going to be called Fataha family. This does not, this is not Fataha family. And my apologies, this is wrong. Okay. So, young Kalibu cannot be called Fataha because there is a Kasra on Ain Kalima. Is this clear to each and every one of you? Everyone with me so far? When it comes to ism file, when it comes to ism file, you can see the ma, meem the ma, before the first, before the, at the beginning, you are seeing meem the ma in the beginning, and you are seeing the ainul kalima with kasra. Easy? When you see some zarf, which spells the same way as maful, however, this family does not have a maful, you are seeing a fatha on the Ainul Kalima. When it comes to Felul Amr, Felul Amr, you are just seeing Ankalib because it's going to be taken from Felul Mudari, second person, and it's going to keep its Kasra here. 
you are going to see kasra in fail mudare you are going to see see kasra on the second root letter in failul amr you are going to see kasra on ainul kalima in case of failul nahi again in kalaba yanqalibu inqilaban fa huwa munqalibun inqalib inqalib la tanqalib fa huwa munqalabun everyone with me when you see failun madin my dear sisters see hamzatul wasl and noon before the first root letter like in qalaba you know how to make sarf kabir of failun madin i'm not going to spend more time on that and fail mudare i want you to remember you will have you will have after alamatul mudare or before your faul kalima you will see a noon which is the sign of the family noon before the first root letter is going to be the sign of the family in the case of failul mudare and your second root is going to be with kasra everyone with me so far can you all see this this is not hard right noon before the faul kalima and ainul kalima with kasra is the sign of this family you are going to make your fail mudare marfu table but here you are not going to make any majhul forms for madin or mudare okay your masdar is in fi alan in fi alan there is an alif there is an alif in addition to hamzatul wasl and noon in al masdar just like in kilaban this word is used in urdu so it should be easy to memorize is this easy or no type one if it is i want you to be all awake okay so again munqalibun 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 is your file and munqalabun is your ism zarf right this family has no maf'ul you are going to make your failul amr just as you have been taught you will use second person tanqalibu you will remove alamatul mudare and you will be left with this you will make your mudare majzum the next step and then you cannot pronounce your word your word cannot begin with a sukun so you have to have hamzatul wasl added right type one if you got all this then your sarf kabir for failul amr is going to be inqalib inqaliba inqalibu inqalibi inqaliba inqalibna make sense your failul nahi for this family is going to be, be super easy you already are masters champions of that so la tanqalib la tanqaliba la tanqalibu la tanqalibi la tanqaliba la tanqalibna isam fa'il munqalib munqalibun the same rule that we have used for all the words before it's going to start with meem damma meem damma but added noon is going to be there as well okay the noon will tell you this is from family number 6 or 7 okay family number 7 it is from babe in fial okay the noon before your first root letter i should you know put it here to noon before first root letter okay yes you are seeing it as with the sukun all the time yeah it's going to be always with the sukun okay so again you have no this slide is not for this i think my slides got mixed up but you have again you know you have, oh, the most important feature that you are going to remember i think it has been put here the special features are hamzatul wasl and the kasra on failul mudari because there's a kasra on failul mudari on ain ainul kalima you see it in case of failul amr 
you see it in Pedu Nahi. Is this clear, my dear sisters? Let's do some practice and see if you really understood it. Okay, inshallah. Bismillah rahman rahim So let me take you to this word. Okay. Bismillah. What do you think? Where is this coming from? Seven? How did you um, determine that? What helped you determine? The noon. Very well done. And then there's also a Hamzatul Vassal. Ing Fajarat. Is this fail Madin, Mudare, Amr? What is that? Pelun, Madin, because of the Tasakun at the end, right? In Fajarat, who's, what's the pronoun here? Is it visible or is it hidden? Let me just. Is it here and the pronoun is hidden? After here, should we look for an outside doer? Do you see one? You do. Where is that? Very good job. Isnata. So where is, the, you know, what is the sign of the rough status in case of Isnata? Alif is the sign, my dear sister. So see, the noon may not always be there. That is why we taught you in Muslimani, Alif is the sign of rough status. Aliful Musanna is a sign of rough status. So do not forget your first term and second terms, okay? Inshallah. Um, what is this word coming from? Tafjiran. It's a master. Good job. It's a master. From which family? Family 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, five, we have done from 2 to 7. We have come from 2 to 7. We have still not covered family um, 1. So it is family number 2. Right? Tafjiran ta'aliman. Right? From ta'aliman. Like the ta'aliman. Okay. Um, let's see if we have another word from this family. So mostly you are you are seeing these root letters. Fa, jim, ra used in family number 2. Right? Let me show you another one. Okay. And let me see if you bad okay. If you are able to identify this one. Where is this word coming from? Uh, that's a, a Jamid word, uh, Sister Anas. Insan is not um uh, uh, it, from uh, family number six. It's a Jamid word. Imbajasat. Imbajasat. Imbajasat, right? So Hamza, Hamza Tulvasal is added. Noon is added. Is a Zaida letter. Bajim, seen other root letters. And this Ta is for? Is, uh, this Ta is for? What is the purpose of this Ta? Is it for the Tani Sulfail? Tani Sulfail. Do you see any outside doer again? Right? Isnata, isnata, right? The and this alif is a sign of a rough status in this word. I hope this is clear. And then I have um I think um one more word and then we'll call it a day, inshallah. Um Okay. Where this word is coming from? 
ينبغي ينبغي What help you determine that that this is from family number 7 and this is a mudare of family number 7 the noon because hamzatul wasl you are going to see in case of failul amr you are going to see it in fail madin but the noon noon before the first root letter don't forget the noon before the first root letter because noon you are going to see not in only fail madin mudare masdar fail zarf right so one last question and then i'm going to call it a day and i know i'm past my time but i want this one to be you know answered um because i want you to be able to tell me this one and then we will be good and we'll this one where is this coming from no no hamza hamza you can see young kalibu family number 7 is it file maful what is some file right one more thing was there here uh and actually uh, we can um it cannot be zarf it uh, lam has a kasra munqalibuna cannot be zarf my dear sisters because it has a lam has a kasra in case of zarf the lam in of qal lam ba is going to have a fatha right when it is a zarf right it will have a fatha so there is no there is going to be some file we are going to munkali buna is a some file there is no maful for the family dear sister there is no maful for the family there is a some file right there is a some file but there is no maful for the family what is this seven so i i will inshallah show you some more examples in our next session i'm already past 3 minutes so i i want to keep a uh, hold you any more subhanakallah wa bihamdik nashhadu la illa ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh uh stop recording